Video games, especially those with competitive multiplayer modes, often use anti-cheat software to prevent players from cheating. One of the most powerful methods of preventing cheating is through kernel-level anti-cheat software. While this method can be very effective, it also comes with a range of risks that players should understand. To understand the risks, let's first break down what kernel-level anti-cheat software actually is. Your computer has different level of access, or rings, to its system. The operating system, Windows or Linux, runs at the highest level of access, called the kernel, or ring 0. This level of access allows the operating system to control everything that happens on your computer, from managing memory and running processes to interacting with hardware like your CPU and graphics card. Kernel-level anti-cheat software operates at the same high level of access. This gives it the power to monitor and control everything happening on your system, which helps it detect cheats that may be running deep in your computer's system. However, because the software has such deep access, it also comes with a number of risks. When a program has access to your computer's kernel, it has complete control over your system. This is both the strength and the main risk of kernel-level anti-cheat software. Here's why. Kernel-level software, by its very nature, can make your computer more vulnerable to attacks. If the anti-cheat software itself has a flaw or bug, hackers could exploit it. For example, if a hacker finds a way to break into the anti-cheat system, they could gain access to your entire computer, potentially stealing data or causing harm to your system. This is particularly risky because kernel-level anti-cheat software runs constantly while you're playing the game, making it a tempting target for attackers. If someone manages to install malware or a virus that takes advantage of the kernel-level access given to anti-cheat software, that malware could do much more damage than it normally would. For example, a virus that operates at the user level, the normal level at which most program runs, can only do so much, but one that gains kernel access could bypass most security features and take over your entire system. Kernel-level anti-cheat software can watch almost everything on your system. This is done to detect cheats that could be hiding deep within your computer's processes, but this also raises questions about privacy. Anti-cheat software often needs to collect data from your system to function properly. This could include information about your hardware, your software, and even what you're doing while playing the game. While most companies claim they only collect data needed to detect cheats, the level of access that kernel-level anti-cheat has means that it could potentially see much more than just your game-related activity. Because the software operates at such a deep level, it could, in theory, monitor more than just your gaming activity. This could include private data like your browsing habits, files on your computer, or even how other programs on your system are behaving. Most companies say they don't do this, but it's hard for users to know for sure since the anti-cheat operates in the background and often without transparency. Because kernel-level anti-cheat software has access to the core of your system, it can sometimes cause problems with other software or even with the way your computer works. Here are a few examples. Kernel-level anti-cheat can conflict with other programs that also need access to system resources. For example, Antivirus programs or system optimization tools may clash with the anti-cheat software, causing crashes or slowdowns. This can be especially problematic if the anti-cheat software mistakenly identifies these legitimate programs as cheats or threats, leading to false positive and unnecessary interruptions. Because of the deep level of access, if something goes wrong with the anti-cheat software, it can cause your entire system to crash. This is different from normal software crashes because kernel-level crashes can be more severe potentially leading to data loss or requiring a complete restart of your computer. While most kernel-level anti-cheat software is designed to run efficiently, it can still cause performance issues on some systems, especially older computers. This can result in the game running slower, longer load times, or even your whole system slowing down when the game is running. One of the biggest concerns with kernel-level anti-cheat software is whether the developers behind it can be trusted. When you install software that has deep access to your system, you are trusting the developers not to misuse that power. However, there are several reasons why this trust may be a concern. Developers with access to kernel-level anti-cheat software could, in theory, abuse that access. For example, they could collect more data than they need, or they could use the access for purpose other than preventing cheating, like monitoring user behavior or even blocking certain types of software from running. If a hacker finds a way to break into the system that controls the anti-cheat software, they could potentially take over a large number of computers. Since the anti-cheat software runs at such a deep level, this kind of attack will be far more damaging than attacks on regular software. 
Hackers could use this access to install malware, steal data, or even take control of users' computers. Another issue with kernel-level anti-cheat software is that it can be hard to remove from your system once it's installed. Because it integrates so deeply into your computer, when installing it can sometimes cause problems, especially if it leaves behind pieces of the software that continues to affect your system. In some cases, players have reported that when installing a game doesn't fully remove the kernel-level anti-cheat software, leaving behind parts of the program that continues to run or cause issues on their systems. Many games that use kernel-level anti-cheat software don't give players the options to opt out without being banned or locked out of online play. This means that if you're uncomfortable with the software running on your system, your only option may be to stop playing the game entirely. For those who use Linux or other non-Windows operating systems, kernel-level anti-cheat software can be a significant problem. Many of these anti-cheat systems are designed specifically for Windows and rely on Windows-specific technologies, making them incompatible with Linux or even causing games to not run at all. While some games have made efforts to support Linux gaming, kernel-level anti-cheat often limits this. The anti-cheat software may not work correctly to compatibility layers like Wine or Proton, preventing Linux users from accessing certain games or multiplayer features. Even if you can get the game to run, certain features, especially online multiplayers, may be blocked if the anti-cheat software can't function properly on your system. This leaves Linux users in a tough spot where they may have to choose between playing the game and staying secure on their preferred operating system. Kernel-level anti-cheat software is a powerful tool for stopping cheaters in online games, but it comes with serious risks, from security vulnerabilities and privacy concerns to system instability and trust issues. The potential downsides are significant. Additionally, for those who use Linux or want to keep tight control over their systems, kernel-level anti-cheat software can be a deal-breaker. Ultimately, it's up to the individual player to decide whether they're comfortable with these risks. For some, the promise of a cheat-free game is worth the potential downsides. For others, the idea of giving a game company such deep access to their system is a step too far. Either way, it's important to understand what kernel-level anti-cheat software is doing on your system and make an informed decision about whether you're willing to accept the trade-offs.